A few years after his Nobel Prize winning discovery of Buckminster Fullerene in 1985, Harry Croteau predicted that the football-shaped molecule may be present in outer space. Last month, Croteau's close friend John Meyer announced his team's success in finding definitive proof of the existence of C60 throughout the galaxy. After the discovery of C60, people immediately started to look for signatures of C60. And they, they were not found, these signatures. Huh? Mm. And in the diffuse clouds, uh, anyway. And um, then came the discussion that, well, maybe one should be looking at the ionized C60 because uh, it's, uh, the ionization potential is low and the area is uh, transparent to starlight. It took 20 years for us huh, to develop the appropriate techniques to measure the electronic spectrum of C60 plus at 6 Kelvin, like in space, under conditions as in space to be able to make a direct one-to-one -one comparison. Huh? And just by chance, we managed to get the results this year, huh? a few months ago. And when I told Harry about that, he, he was very emotional. He said, um, John, you've made me a very happy man. The proof now that C60 is all over the galaxy is just f fantastic. I mean, I did predict it, but I didn't think I would live to see it proven to be the case and that it's been proven by someone who's a very close friend. I'm over the moon and it really is fantastic. I mean, who would have thought there were footballs all over the galaxy? There's more C60 than there is Earth. I mean, you know, it's unbelievable. So it's very exciting. The problem still remains of there are many other absorptions which may well be related to derivatives of C60+. Plus and Perhaps even more interesting question is the thing that the formation and destruction of molecules via buckyballs and C60+. Plus.